excited ako sa episode na to. So, dahil sa new environment and also dahil sa guest, syempre. Ikwento mo nga, anong nandyan sa bago mong setup? Well, uh, mostly mga galing, mga hindi man bago, pero idadaling ko ba yung gear sa camera or what? Hindi naman, okay lang. Ah, Kwento mo lang. Ano lang? Kung, kung abot, kung abot mo. Hindi, kasi, kung abot mo. ano, uh, yun, Nord, tapos mini log. Tapos yung MPC ko nandito, yung dati pa. Siyempre yung likod yung pinakita mo yan, no? Oo nga eh. Oo Tinext ako ni Mong Pare. Lumabas yung dalawang sample. Lumabas yung supreme na <laughs> Akai. Gusto ni Mong. Umorder na siya. <laughs> Akai na supreme na... Oo. Na ano, na yung parang Akai mo. MPC Live. MPC Live, oo. Na supreme. Kulay pula. Nice. <laughs> Umorder na siya eh. <laughs> Magkana yung ganun Hindi ko alam. <laughs> may ano eh, may isa pang MPC Live, yung retro. Kakulay oh. niya yung 2000 XL. Yun yung parang sabi ko, shit, parang bakit, ganda yun, nun. bakit yun, hindi yun yung vinili ko? Tapos yung parang $200 difference lang. Yung parang nag-yellow siya. <laughs> parang oh, yung knobs niya gray, ay yung pads niya gray. Shit. Parang yun, off-white na ano, <laughs> nakulay, <laughs> nakulay. <laughs> Kasi yung black parang o oh nga eh, medyo standard lang eh. Pero yan, yeah. iba rin yung MPC. Ba't hindi mo pa pinturahan? Pwede ba yun? Alin, ito. Parang hindi yan. Case lang ay, naman yun eh. May sticker. May mga nag-avail yung sticker online. Na ganong kulay. Ganito ang kulay. Oo. Uh, actually, oh. may speak, nakita ko may iniinom ka kasi may, may nakita akong comment na nagtatanong kung ano daw iniinom natin. Oo oh, nga, magandang tanong yan. Ha? Ikaw, anong iniinom mo? Usually, may kasi may tanong rin siya parang for health or something. Parang may iniinom ba natin healthy? So, to lang gin yung iniinom ko. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> <laughs> may water lang. lang. Ako dun, so, totoo lang ako. Water lang ako tsaka black, black coffee. Ayaw kasi ng sugar pag uh, parang before mag-lunch or parang ganun. So, I guess kung in terms of health na yung question niya, parang Yun din yung sa akin. Parang I, I try to avoid. As if parang it's <laughs> influencer eh, no? I try to avoid sugary drinks. Parang ganun. Y- 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 yun lang sa akin. N- nagtanong eh. So, sagutin ko na rin. <laughs> tama. Ta- tama yan. Tama sa good answer. Good answer. Ako kape. Pero si Eric ay yung nag-invento nung ano eh. Nung concoction eh. Pero soy yung gatas. Hindi ko na alam kung ano pang laman. Hmm. Para sa ano, <laughs> parang chai, parang chai tea. Mukha siyang ganun sa Singapore. Parang ganun, pero lasang parang parang soy latte, ganun. Hmm. Lately actually, yung parang na, na find ko na interesting in the is apple juice. Parang uh, yung mga tree top or uh moths. Na-try mo yan sa departments, ah, sa super grocery. Mas mas grape juice ako. Ah, okay din grape juice. Pero mas okay din okay ang din apple juice. juice. Yung, okay. yung Welch, okay kahit din. An, din. Kahit anong brand eh. Kasi hindi ako magaling mag-grocery. Dampot lang ako ng dampot. Ako nang papamahal yung grocery namin pag uh, kasama ako. Pag ikaw? Ako kasi gusto yun, kasi... Kasi yun lang eh. Parang ah, 100, muro lang yan. Tapos mamaya pagdating sa counter, naka limang 100, 500. <laughs> Ako yung, yung unang tumawag na logo, dadamputin ah. ko na para pag maganda yung logo. So hindi ako magaling na grocery shopper. Nadadala okay. ka sa, ano, sa branding. <laughs> sa brand, actually, oo, yung it, ay, ganda ng logo, di ba? Kunwari may tatlong corn beef, yung pinakamagandang logo yung dadamputin ko. Parang weird. Hindi ko rin type mag-grocery. So, kung... Ako rin. Sobrang. Alam mo anong di ko gets? Bakit on purpose ginagawa nila magkakalay yung mga items na usually ma- magkakasama? Alam mo ba yun? <laughs> Hindi. Kunyari, kunyari. <laughs> kahan, kahan corn beef. Okay. Nakihiwalay pa yung tuna. Na parang, bakit ganun? Kasi gusto ba- nila na umikot ka talaga ng grocery. Okay, okay. That Pero makes sense. Pero nakakainis talaga na parang... Kaya pala hindi ko makuha ang grocery logic. Oo, oh, oo. Oh, oh. Okay. 
may may ano siya eh, may may science to it talaga eh. Kaya saludo ko sa mga nag-grocery. Alam mo yun? I mean, um, Memor- kaya um, memorize nila yung lanes. So. Oo, oh, ang hirap. Ang hirap talaga. It's not that easy. Si Erica, pag nag-grocery pare, bibili lang, isa lang yung bibili niya, kunwari. Siya, kailangan ko pumunta ng grocery, bibili ang butter. Hmm. So, drive ko siya dun sa, kung saan tayo nagiinuman dati, dyan sa may Santolan, di ba? Mamaya 30 minutes na siya, paglabas siya, may isa na siyang kahuna na bili na kung ano-ano. Hmm. So, siya yung type ng grocery shopper na isa lang yung bibilhin, pero lalabas. Madaling ma-market ng marketing naman. So, yun. I guess kasi yung with them, I mean, with, with people na mas more of nag- gumagawa sa bahay, pag nakita nila kasi yung grocery item, nakikita nila kung ano yung mga pwede nila gawin with it. Then, let's say, may bagong butter. Ako parang hindi ko, hindi ko maisip <laughs> parang ba't ko bibili niyan. Kaya na-excite rin sila. Ano yan? May, may ganun na factor eh, na ah, ito yung gagawin ko dito, nakaka-excite. Wala na. <laughs> Anyway, anyway. Uh, ano pala, sa, meron pala tayong ano, uh, contest no, sa studio. Yes. May napili uh, ka na? Yeah, uh, speaking of that contest, actually, meron akong mga isa short list ng mga finalists dito. I'll just give, it, give them a read. May screenshot ka ba? Yes. Lalabas dito sa screen natin. Ah. Uh, hindi. <laughs> Wait, <lang. laughs> so uh, first hindi ko na sabihin kung pang ilang runner up kasi hindi ko rin hindi ko rin maano eh. so si Tit Tit Serepoy uh, ang comment niya ETT White yung gusto niya sana mapanalunan uh, para mapatawad na tayo ni Lord although six <laughs> six Words eh, sayang. Six words. Okay. So yung okay. napag-usapan natin para mapatawad na tayo ni Lord. Sana nagbawas siya ng isa. Pero sobrang nakakatawa yun. Uh, isa pa, Jesse Benipayo. Neo Black. Swak na swak pang pajak. Ah, Ayos. mayroong ano. May flow. Bagay para. sa all right. Bagay. Bagay sa atin. <laughs> Tapos, uh, Kevin Christian Bardeloza. Neo Black. Music transcends existence with studio. Wow. Lalim nun. Wow. <laughs> Pang-add sa magazine yan. Ha? Tapos, uh, MJ Mirasol, Kable Koy Bohol Bohol. Shit. Okay din yun. Pwede din, pwede din. Tapos, may it, uh, it's last na finalist before we announce the winner. Well, my winner. Kasi may isa ka pang winner for next week, diba? Ah, dalawa? Okay. Dalawa yung winners natin. Okay, eh. okay. So, thank you so much, studio. Let's check out studio.com.ph and offstage hang 15 promo code. Don't forget, just in case na, yun nga, gusto niya bumili ng studio headphones. Yun. So, uh, by Carl, Neo Black, sana matapos na ang pandemia. Oo nga, sana matapos na to. <laughs> So, ang ating panalo ay si uh, L.A. Wala siyang full name na nakalagay, pero L.A. So, maybe he can, he can send us a message on IG sa details niya, like address and, ano, and then we'll send it over to Neo para mapadalan siya ng ano. So, our winner is L.A. with the comment, para dinig na dinig. DND, yung di, dinig na dinig, kama, all right. Aba, <laughs> gusto ko yan, gusto ko yan. <laughs> so, okay, congratulations, like... LA. You win a pair of Neo Black from studio. Ito yung comment, just in case. Pagdudahan niyo ako. <laughs> okay, okay napagsama niya tayong lahat. <laughs> Yun nga. Maganda. Kaya, gusto nag, na, nag-isip siya. Pero gusto ko sana si ano eh, mapatawad ni Lord, no? <laughs> Kaso anim eh. Anim eh. Anim, not following instruction pero oh. siya, sa kanya na, parang favorite ko yun ngayon. <laughs> so, i-intro na ba natin yung guest natin? Sige, wait. Ah, uh, thank you for joining the our little contest, our first contest. Hmm. And Tama. thanks to Studio for oh. uh for giving the products. Sobrang astig lahat na nagko-comment. Maraming maraming salamat. We Kasi appreciate it. Ang saya ng comment section natin. Baka isip naman tayo ng isa pang, kahit naman hindi naman contest, something related to the show. Like, 
on the next episode maybe you guys can comment in like ano yung mga gusto niyo itanong sa amin any any random questions and then just put a hashtag offstage hang on it yun may shoutouts ka ay oo oh, tama meron buti na remind mo ako wait Shout out kay Ron DC, DC TV. I think baka may gumagawa siya ng channel on YouTube uh, from Sydney, Australia as well. Shout out okay. sa'yo, sir. Thank you for listening. Tsaka sa lahat ng nag-comment sa, ah, nag-message sa akin sa IG na DM. Sobrang thank you. Yung mga nag-repost, sobrang thank you. It, mean, it really means a lot. Okay, so this week, We are joined by one of the steadiest people in the music industry. Steady meaning a mean rhythm section and steady and steady meaning a steady personality that goes along with it. Being Duster, Sandwich, and Imago's bassist, she has been on the airwaves ever since and as a, bas- as a bassist and as a famed DJ from NU107. For episode 20, please welcome Myrene Academia. Hello! Hi, guys! Musta? <laughs> ECQ again. <laughs> oh, here we are. Musta, <laughs> what have you been up to since uh, during the lockdown? Uh, I learned how to bike, finally. And just puttering around the house. Uh, uh, reading, watching mga K-drama, and getting deeply into BTS. Yun, most of the time, yeah, that's it. Ano ano yung ah, BTS? Yeah. <laughs> Sobrang actually ang ang phenomenal talaga ng Korean Korean music ngayon no. As in ibang klase yung push ng government rin nila I guess with the initiative. Yeah. Uh it's, they're pretty professionalized kasi doon I think. So you know, they they look for Uh, kids in their teens and train them. Train them when they're very young and then tasasalain nila yon, And then they'll make the groups. And then those are, and trained yun. Uh, dancing, singing, and then a lot of them uh, write and produce as well, I think. I'm, I'm only speaking from my th- what I know about BTS kasi sila yung, that's how I got into it, really. Pero that's how I see them. That's That's the sort of Parang trabaho eh. Every day you put in the hours eh. And from starting from very young. So, Actually, kaya, kaya ma, makikita mo yung results. Actually, hindi, parang... It's not treated like a... Di ba? Hindi siya, oh, we just put together a band and they're a boy band. Hindi siya ganun dun eh. Pag sinabi mo idol, may, may, may intention and effort and time and, and money put behind everything. Do you listen to... A lot of K-pop or mostly just BTS? Uh, mostly just BTS, but once in a while, I let, uh, I let a Spotify playlist play for the new stuff for like this week, bago, mga bago na K-pop. And just let it run and see what catches my attention. How'd you get so, into but it? But they're most... Paano ba? Oh, they're always in the background. Di ba? Because they're a pretty big band. And I think uh, I started seeing. If I don't know if you know, remember Kathy Henner? She manages yes, course, uh, Ang Bandang Shirley, and then she books us for for shows at the PBA. I saw her. I saw her really getting into it. Maaga pa si Kathy Jan, de ba parang? Yeah. Oh, year a, a, years ago, three or four, siguro. And then because there was also. Her dad also died, and parang hand in hand yon eh, kasi she was describing it as 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 pu- may, may healing involved. It's a language that they use a lot, and I was I starting to understand what it meant. It was just sinasamahan ka talaga ng banda, and and it's good for kids also, cause they're very inclusive sa fan base nila, and they're very they're oddly very wise for young people eh. Yes, yes. Parang yes. isinang sinasabi na. Yeah, you know how to yeah and very positive na hindi na hindi corny or badui tapos syempre it helps that they look good so I started you know and then finally mga 2019 na tayon or 18 lumabas yung boy with love and I 
I clicked on the video and it was like the perfect pop song for me. It's perfect pop song. And then the, the video re- went really well with it. And I was like, and that's how it started. I was like, oh, I really like this. I just like this one song. I didn't put in the time or effort to know them yet. So like, oh, I really like that one song. And it's Malana. It's like you're just walking like that. Kala mo casual, tapos bigla ng flug. Parang siguro falling in love din eh. Parang ikang, isang araw, parang lagi mo na lang sininginahanap online, tapos nakikinig mo, pinapakinggan mo lahat ng albums. I, I guess yung sinabi mo na parang sinasamahan ka ng banda, I could relate with that na parang with the bands dati nung, nung yun nga, uh, nung 90s, like when, let's say when you listen to Tool or parang yung kinakausap ka nila and may sense yung sinasabi nila. So, So I find it really really interesting na parang yun nga syempre you coming from NU and coming from yun nga yung background of rock na nagustuhan mo yung yung ganyang type of like like genre na BTS. So nung well, sorry, sorry. I, we were analyzing it every day. I, I was I was just kind of analyzing it the other day and I I I'm still going back through their ano eh they're they're about eight years old this year. Eh. They're about eight years old since they They be yung tawag nila when you finally uh, start performing in public after training for like three or four years siguro. So, eight years old na sila this year. And so, I'm just really starting to go back to their old stuff. I think for me, and maybe, maybe I'm, I can't speak for Kathy, pero feeling ko gets din niya. Yung pag, they're, they're really punk rock and indie rock because they weren't accepted apparently Dati. sa Korea when they came okay. out. And nobody, hindi sila pinansin. And so they went to face, to, they went and used uh, YouTube to promote themselves. And and you see them, uh, nung bata pa sila, pag magpa-perform, na, they, there's a, there's shots of them giving out flyers on the streets in in California. Na hindi sila kilala, one of these Korean kids giving out flyers for their show tonight, trying to tell people to come. It's very punk rock to me. It's very indie rock and punk rock na yung effort. And then, ito yun, maraming, obviously, maraming haters when you're in that spectrum na ng popularity, di ba? Mm. When somebody disses them, they don't get, ang revenge nila, gagalingan pa nila. So, they, they, they do it through, pakikita mo, bigla nilang magsushoot up yung sales nila, yung counts nila sa Spotify and YouTube. Imbis na atakihin nila yung galit sa kanila, gagalingan pa nila para angat pa sila. Which is a very positive thing. It's a very elegant solution, I think. Instead of, makipag-away ka, di ba? Sa ayaw sa'yo. Galing ako na lang. Ang galing eh. So, At tapos ano po, sis ko, grabe. <laughs> Go ahead, Ray. So, Sorry. Speaking of beginnings, what were you listening to growing up? What was music in your oh, house? Music in my uh ang, my my uh my mom and my stepdad loved uh playing records. And they uh they I remember the day we we got our Kenwood um stereo and they were really proud of that. We miss malaking speakers na ganyan tas may turntable. So so pretty young pa lang I was uh I knew how to play records and they would be playing Um, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, uh, I don't know, Kenny Rogers, uh, John Denver, that 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 period, and yeah, that's about there. You and then a lot of uh, a lot of uh, Broadway records. Because that day, I don't know, I'm I'm sure a lot of uh, your parents also have that box set ng Reader's Digest na na Broadway uh, yes. <laughs> records. Do you know this? Yes. We didn't have Broadway, yeah, so, but we had the Reader's Digest collections oh, on cassette. Yeah. Not- <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So uh, Oklahoma, uh, Fiddler on the Roof, uh, mm. stuff like that. So first, I'd be listening to my parents' stuff. Obviously, well, I don't have any cousins because my both my parents are only kids. So I kind of skip. I kind of skip the Led Zepp part. That 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 part of ano? Rock. Wala ako nyan at saka, oh Juan de la Cruz. I'd find out about it later na. Of course, in, it's in the background because you could hear it some mga, you know, other places, but not in the house. And then when I started uh, playing my own stuff, siguro ano na yun, um, 
Michael Jackson thriller mm. time. Yon, uh, Journey. I had a lot of Go-Go's uh, albums. Right. And then after that, I, I so I got into top 40 music. I listened to a lot of Casey Kasem. There'd be... Uh, how how do you listen to, to Casey? Like RX, RT? RT. 99.5 RT before. I'm okay. also... Oh, I, I skip, kind of skipped that. I'm also a radio baby. Uh, siguro nung before... Before RT, before I... Before I found FM, I would take my grandmother's uh, little uh, cassette player with a radio. Mono lang yun, isang, isang speaker lang yun, ganito lang kaliit na yun, itim. Pero may cassette. Anyway, I would take it to bed and I would listen to AM, pero music. So I got to listen to a lot of Bee Gees and uh, Andy Gibb and uh, what's Paul McCartney's other Wing, band? Wings. Wings. Yeah, Wings. a lot of yun time na yun, uh, with Who little would play lock. that in AM? Who like RJ? There's their mu- their music. Siguro pero hindi ko lang alam. I wasn't aware of the station itself yet. I wasn't aware of radio stations or radio personalities. I just look. Paggabi na siguro pinapabayaan na lang nila rin yung ano eh, yung tech magspin eh, kasi nobody wants to stay on the air <laughs> at that time, di ba? That's so, yeah. Well, th- not all- just starts. This is pre-automation. Yeah. There's live um, people spinning probably, records. They had to. Yeah, records are carts. Uh, you used to put what well, in a radio track. before. Para ma, yeah, it's, a, it's called a cart. It's a cassette then, pero mas malaki yung tape. And it'll stop at the end of the song automatically. So it's just one song per cart. Mm. Para hindi, para hindi tuloy-tuloy yung tumutugtog. Para pwede kang mag-segue. Pero, uh, ina- it helps. Ano yung inabot nyo sa NU? Uh, mas bago na or cards and CDs cards and CDs cards kasi sa eh, ano siya eh kasi nga it's helpful kasi isa lang yung laman niya so hindi ka you're not trying to stop it and, and mix with another it's just gonna stop by itself and so you can play the next one right away so we put songs on that na wala we didn't excuse me we didn't have one CD and then we play CDs also yung turntables hindi na masyado Tapos, uh, growing up, kailan ka nag kailan ka start learning bass or did you start guitar first? Yeah, when I was for my first instrument was piano. Everybody took it, mm-hmm. siguro. <laughs> As a uh, seven or eight years old in second grade, so I took the twelve lesson thing in Yamaha. So that's my basics of piano. And then when I was fourteen, um, siguro nagupis na nila mag uh, makinig na new wave. I I jumped from top 40 to new wave when I discovered WXB. Radio din yun. And they were playing The Cure and U2, Susie and the Banshees, uh, the stuff like that. So I got re- I got into that really and started playing guitar. I took 12 lessons of <laughs> guitar at Yamaha also. So Green Hills yun. Diyan sa may, ano, sa may shops. Yeah, na, 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 lessons din ako dun dati. How do you find out about X? How do people find out about XB? I was I was in the province. My my friends hit me to XB, yung mga college na. But XB parang mahirap hanapin sa dial. Eh. So how did you find out about XB? You know, I can't. Was it really in school? Have... No, I must have been going around. I was just going around the radio, spin, going around uh, back and forth na ganyan. I have no idea, really. I was listening to a lot of Duran Duran then, yun yung crossover ko eh, from, from Top 40 to, to New Wave. Duran Duran. Is this and, what the kids in your school say, were, were listening to? Some of them. Like, we had, I had, yeah, may, ano, may, sir, may small circle then. No, no. And then you had the they had you had those parties, the bar with the with the mobiles, and they'd be playing twelve inches <laughs> of uh, <laughs> twelve inches and remixes of uh, ayon nakaplaka yung mga yon uh, of uh, the Cure nga and and stuff like that. So I don't remember exactly. How, and then you could get because a lot of those albums you couldn't find here. 
merong A to Z records dun sa Kamias. You could go there and bring your cassette tape and uh, pay for uh, a bootleg. Which we didn't really know was a bootleg yet. Kasi wala naman talaga dito eh. So, Papa Tape ka. Copies ng albums. How much per oh. song? Hindi ko naman alala. Pero, you know, when uh, Thriller came out, ito, uh, when Thriller came out, um, walang Columbia Records sa Pilipinas. So, you, no matter how hard I look, sa Unimart, ang ganda ng, ano, ng record section nila doon, noon. Oh, yeah, Nabutan ba yun dati? Ma- my mom yeah. used to bring me. Tsaka may radio yeah. city Gross. dati, malapit sa Unimart. Diba? Alin? May radio Alin? city, malapit sa Unimart, naalala ko. Parang Later in may... the 90s na yun. Oh, 90s na yun. Uh, ah, hindi. Yung record section sa Unimart. Sa grocery naka, talaga. Sa grocery, pero naka, may doorway siya. Glass na divider. Pagpasok mo, malaking-malaking kwarto. Hindi ko na nabut. Ang ganda, ma- ang sarap maghanap doon. Doon at saka sa basement ng Anson, sa Makati. They had the best record. Ah, naalala ko yung Anson, ever. Makati. Naalala ko yun. Oh, bababa ka, di ba, ng konti. Malaking, yeah. may stairway. Malaki. Pero ma- malapad. Pagbaba mo, ayan na, ayan na siya. So, walang Columbia Records. So, you can find Toto. You can find Toto, Journey, the Thriller Album, and mga Go-Go's. They're all in the same one. Pero for some reason, hindi na rin yung siguro yung contract dito. Wala. So, I was like, so yung kaset, I brought, had to go to National Bookstore kasi biglang, oy, ayun, may, may album ng thriller sa <laughs> sa counter. Magpapa, magpapa-record ka doon for 80 pesos. Bibili mo sa kanila yung kaset and then oh the recording God. was 80 pesos. That's so expensive. That was a lot. There. Oh, Those records were 40 pesos. pesos. Yes, and cassettes were, uh, music cassettes, na may, music cassette talaga was 20 pesos. Yes. Uh, albums were 40 pesos. For you, so, uh, no choice eh. Trailer yun eh. You gotta have it eh. <laughs> sa amin din pala, sa probinsya, ganun din. You will go to Lucena, dadala ka ng kaset, magpaparecord ka ng, ng ilalagay sa parang 5 pesos per song. Ayun. Ano yung machine na nagre-record from? It's just a, uh, ano, kaset. Ano lang? lang? Kaset lang talaga. Yeah. Literally. Or, or, uh, Pag medyo high-tech, may deck yung stereo. Uh, diba? Uh, oh, yung turntable mo. Yung... Tawag nila mini-compo. <laughs> Ay, hindi pa mini-compo noon. Hindi pa component talaga. Oh, oh, nga, mi- Pero 90s na yung... Ah, hindi. Late 80s na yung mini-compo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kasi That's par- when I started. Wow, ang, li- ang liit. Maliit. Diba? Oh, tama, si- tama. Mas maliit pa sa turntable. So, it didn't come with the turntable most of the time. So, so uh, yun. So tapos nung while you, while you were ano uh while you were going to college when did you learn na uh, you wanted to go into broadcasting And uh, how Before was Before college ah broadcasting we smoke uh-oh, uh-oh. And you were playing the bass as well sabay parang oh, how was that timeline parang ganun Uh okay when I was in high school so I found all that music and then in college uh my friend Nancy who's a psych major and my my high uh, galing kami UPIS started taking lessons uh music for drums and uh that's how we met a lot of the music kids na kilala namin ngayon like si si Simon and Simon uh, Tan Simon Tan and and Sinabong and Alvin uh of glue that's how we met yeah, that's how we met them through Nancy. Because Nancy, she Nancy just hello, made friends with everybody there. So we started hanging there. That's I saw. Na ita ko si Ellie nung time na yon. Nasa mask ko ako sa tabi. I had no plans of going to uh, broadcasting, by the way, because I have um, uh, I'm afraid of public speaking. Mm. No plans, no plans. Even if I was a big radio person, my Ang attachment to radio really was his music. So that, uh, so anyway, so kami ni Nancy is like, oh, we, we can form a band now. So ako, si Nancy, and our high school friend, si Jenilyn, and then si Simon, we <laughs> uh, kind of dragged him into it as well. Pag, li- pag magpa-practice kami tatlo lang na girls, magigitara ako. Pero pag magla-live kami, we played about two times in college. Pag live, si Simon kukunin namin magigitara. Tapos ako, magbe-bass ako. 
nung time na yun. Kasi I really wasn't really into making a lot of noise or being, being up front. I, so that's how I ended up with the bass. I think. Yeah. Tapos, um, no, that's how it started. I saw that's one of I... your shows. What's the name of the band? Dirty Fingers? No. Dead. Dead. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dead Fingers. I saw your Dead show fingers. in AS. Tayo. I think that could have been like the first or second show of The Heads. <laughs> That's our what yeah. Was that? Your namin, first or second Dengi show? Second show. The first one was in. The first one was a. It might have been a bis ba show, pero sa Sunken Garden ginawa. That was the very very first one, and I remember, I really have stage fright, so I just I'm just older now, so I can just. I remember you guys playing the it. Stones. Did you guys play the Stones? No, no. Or no, Velvet no. Underground. Wait. No, <laughs> we might have sounded like them, but <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think we because I think I knew oh, Simon, cla- so I was talking to Simon. I knew him from Chanting Wind. Uh-oh. Cla- Uh-oh. Ma- siguro Uh-oh. Clash, and then we tried to do a Dean's December song. I think, um, si Binky was there. Binky Lampa, no. si Binky. Yeah, Binky Lampa. He was there with us, uh, AS. And I remember that show because Nancy stopped <laughs> in the middle of a song. <laughs> so, siyap, wala ka talaga experience. Alam mo talaga, because mga bago mga babana, siguro 30% of your skill will be in recovery talaga eh. Of not just letting everything collapse eh. <laughs> You just have to recover right away. Eh. So anyway, <laughs> that's the second gig. The first one was uh, sa Sunken Garden. So nervous. I'm so nervous kasi naalala ko, um, may din, may kinu- bumili kami ng battery sa, sa shopping center. Eh. And then on our way, so, and then we sat, I sat For on what? the sidewalk. For the effects? So, someone, I don't know, baka si Simon, had, I'm not sure anymore. Yeah, nobody had... Uh... Meron! Adapters. Did people didn't have adapters? Oh, no, no, no. Anyway. It was just for so, effects. Oh, obviously. For effects. Yeah. Na mabilis yeah, but, mo I <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Para sigurado lang siguro. I sat down on the sidewalk tapos dadating na yung jeep tapos sabi nila, tala na may rin diyaw, makatayo. So, that's, that's why, and that, that's my only memory and the, the and well, no, that's my first, second memory though. The other memory is like, si Nuj, what's his name? What's Junjun his full Perez. name? Oh, si Junjun Junjun Perez, Perez, who oh, I see. Art Start. Oh, oh. Yes. G Steps and I, Art Start. Yeah. Yeah. And very nice to us also. Um, he plugged me into my amp because I went on stage and I was just pregure pa na robot at that point. Eh. Wala na maalala. <laughs> but I saw him. He plugged me into my amp. Thank you, Nuj. I'll never forget that. And then and then the concert went on. Pero wala memory ng concert. Yun na yung huling memory ko nung sinaksak niya ako sa... Tapos sabi niya, patunogin mo. <laughs> That's my first uh, bass gig ever. We still bump into these folks, di ba? Si Jun Jun Yeah, Perez, sa, ABS, sa ABS. Sa ABS. The house band. And then Simon plays for it, for like Bamboo. For everybody, and, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, ano yung, All these people had so much patience for us. <laughs> ano, yung, ano yung first band mo? Yung, I mean, aga, was Aga Mulak one of your first bands or mas later on na siya? Nasa enyo, nasa enyo na ako nung Aga Mulak. Uh, na-meet ko na si, si Jegs and then uh, si Totti was around there and he was doing Group Nation sessions on the air and he, he'd opened up uh, the, a record store then of, of stuff that you couldn't find here also. And then, uh, so, kami yung unang tat, kami yung, and then we had, we met, I don't know how we met Mario. Hindi ko na maalala talaga. Si Mario is uh, Filipino-American. Sing, yeah, he sang for us. Yun yung talagang, our, one of our last gigs, he jumped onto the crowd sa Merix and then his ear started to bleed. Oh so we <laughs> hit his head. He, I was there. I was playing yeah. guitar actually. Yeah. He hit his head, missed his flight. We had to bring him to the USD hospital. Yes, oh, uh, because his ear was bleeding. Anyway, <laughs> the first punk rock sobra. Sa, sa isang may reunion din kami sa Merrick. Si, pag tumalun kasi yun mata, si, he jumped on my ankle. I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> gonna, anyway, 
So, that's that the Aga Munak experience. And then, later on, si Mike na yung naging drummer. Uh, and that's how I met Mike also. Mike and Jego. That's, that's and yun na ako noon. So, 90s na yun. 90, past 96, 97. And then, uh, Jego started working in BMG, met Raymond, then they decided to form Sandwich. Wait, how'd you get into radio from college? Okay, college, I was, um, before I went to NU, I started working, siguro mga last year ko na sa college, I started working sa Ad Farm, which is a radio uh, production, a uh, uh, commercial production house. I started working there because <clears throat> um, si, uh, Jerry Magnaya, one of my favorite DJs from RT, I actually met them because in when I was in college now, my best friend, si Sylvia, just got into her head to start visiting Radio uh, RT because we were big fans. So that's how I met them. I met si Jerry, si, uh, si Al, uh, Lindy Magnaya, that's Inca's mom. Jerry is uh, Inca Magnaya's Inca's folks. Yeah, yeah. I met them. I met them in uh, the ni- late nine, no, 80s pa yun. Pero nung 90s, Ito yung day na yun eh. Do you have time? Yeah. <laughs> Sylvia, Sylvia, my best friend who dragged me to everywhere, XBRT, best friend ko growing up, uh, was going to leave for college in the States. So I spent the night at their house in Makati, dyan sa Bel Air, sa may Polaris. Spent the night there. And then to get home kasi, I need to take a jeep from uh, from Makati Ave to, to EDSA. Di ko alam bakit ako dumuan sa... Si Jerry, alam ko na nandun siya sa RJ. The building with the Wendy's on Makati, on Avenue. Makati Ave. Yeah, that's where RJ was. And apparently, he was still starting... Uh, huh? That's where RJ Sorry? still is. Oh, I think yeah. so. It's okay, still yeah. is there. Yeah. Anyway, he was starting... Because he was working at RJ, I think he snagged uh, a, a, a room uh, on another floor and he was going to make uh, commercials. For some reason, I I went I visited him before I went home, and I said, "Oh, you know, I'm kind of sad because Sylvia left. Na she's wala na ng barkada." He goes, "Hey, you want to work for me? I'm looking for a copywriter." So I started working there first, and then after maybe a year, I go. And daming kwento na Jerry sa Kalindi eh, and si Vince and and la, magbabarkada sila ng lahat eh. Sabi ko, naingit ako. Sabi ko, I think I should go back to college kasi gusto ko marami rin ng kwento na ganyan. Really, that's what I was really thinking. Sabi ko, oh, dami ng kwento. I think I should go back to school. So I tried to go back to school to finish my thesis. Thesis na lang yung naiwan ko eh. That's why I met uh, Lee, uh, Lee Rossi, who was a, na, God damn, I'm sorry Lee, I forgot your last name. Loriano, Loriano. No, no, no. Lorian is the girl. Oh, no, no. Lee Rossi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude. Yeah, si Lee. He's, he's, uh, um, <clears throat> Ma, he's Mascom. I, yeah. Yeah, we were in a class of Robins. And, Robin siya, Rivera. Pag ganun, uh, pag ganun yung mga seats, di ba? He was a uh, seat down in front of me. And I saw him reading a uh, ano, catalog of both effects. So, sorry ko, we rocker. <laughs> Like, so can so I, I I talked to him, and then he we, was we in a band the, now in a in a Seven Eleven band. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A uh, Vixie. Vixie, yeah, there. Um, yes, but I think he's not with Seven Eleven anymore either. He, he um, he's transferred to another corporation. But oh, uh, yon. So habi niya. So we try. I tried to. I tried to uh form a band with him also and see Richard who later uh, started working at the record label. Oh, yeah, Octo yeah. Arts ata. Yeah, yon. So, kami tatlo, magkakla- sila magkabarkada, ako, kaklasiko si Lee. And then Lee, eventually, I didn't know he was gonna do that. He applied for a DJ in this new station called NU107. Mm. And he started, uh, he started DJing there. And he said, maybe we need a newscaster. You might wanna apply. So I thought, well, yeah, might as well get over my fear of mics, of microphones. I guess that's like, okay, challenge accepted. 
So what I went over and applied. DJ it. name that that wasn't his DJ name. Lee Rossi, Rossi, okay, Lee Rossi. Okay. Oh, that's his DJ name. Pero like, may, how did you? Esguera, si, sorry, Lee, Lee Esguera. Oh, si Lee Esguera. So, so uh, yon. So I, I, you were into sorry, you were into broadcasting, pero. Uh, I was into radio were, were, because of the you, music. Yun yung college. That's what what yung course mo sa college, pero. No, I I was going. The plan ko, I was go, I went into masscom because I was going to make some big money in advertising. Mm, okay, sorry. Ne, kasi akala ko parang, wa- yun yung route pero parang weird na takot ka sa mic. So iba pala, iba pala yung plan. Yeah, I was going to go. I wala akong balak magradio talaga. Promise. How did I you get the radio voice? I mean, kasi if you lahat ng tao, I'm sure inisip na maybe you grew up in the states, parang Ang distinct kasi ng radio voice mo rin eh, to be honest. So parang, how did you get the, how did you get that, yung ganun? Is it parang in practice? Yeah, oh, um, uh, we had a lot of good training at NU. Si Mike Padero, who used to be station manager of RT also, is who, who Atom Enares owns, uh, owned NU, and he got Mike Padero as a partner. So, he would really train us. He would, <clears throat> he would, uh, he was in charge of the format, charge of the jocks. He'd tell us how to, how to speak, uh, and also what, how to figure out what to say. Para hindi ka every time you open your mouth, ano walang sense. He was, we were very ano, and then we had a, a, a lot of, uh, we had a lot of air check. They would go to Nam in the U.S. every year. Hmm. Yeah, or Nam or Nab. Nam, nam. Um, basta, to look at the, yeah, equipment. Ah, yeah, boards. Yung mga board namin. Yeah, no. So, to look at equipment, we had a lot of, um, we had a lot of really good stuff sa, like mga Gentner, mga CDs, you could, CD players na pwede mong hanap, e, parang ano eh, parang vinyl eh, pwede mong hanap yung spot it. with a wheel eh. Mm, yeah. yeah. Ito, dito, pak. Tapos meron kami mga gentner so you could attach your phone line to this machine and record uh, your caller without na hindi na wala ng handset. So we had a lot of good equipment there because they went, they'd go to the States every year to check out what's what's what. And the nice part is sa, sa California siguro yun or LA, they'd bring home they'd bring home air checks. Air check is what you call if you record the couple hours of a radio station on a cassette. Sh- you just let it run because so you can hear everything. You could hear the jocks, you could hear the music, and you can hear the commercials. Sa, sa radio kasi, you all have, you have the elements of those. Plus, you have stuff like liners and merch plugs, mga stuff that you do on your own for the station. And not, not parang commercial lang station din. So, mada, madami kong marinig and madami kami mapipick up na of how to kung ano yung tunog nila doon. It's, and they would usually do K-Rock, which is like the alternative station sa... sa uh, and you siya doon sa uh, West Coast, West. di ba? World famous K-Rock. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Kevin and Bean are still around kasi ito ko si uh, Billie Eilish was doing a more, an interview with them. And also before, meron si Rick D set up Pirate Radio. Yung ginawa niyong format ng station niya. Although, sandali lang yun. But it was yeah, it was fun. We got a lot of we got a lot of perks like that. I, it was a uh, it was great and a lot of good training from Mike. And you was really and my station managers also. And you was really managers pro- were also good. Progressive, you know. What what people don't realize is back in back in the seventies and eighties, there were no female DJs. There were just female uh, mm-hmm. newscasters, but there was not no. I I don't remember any growing up no female. FM radio DJs. How? What was NU thinking? I mean, you were you guys were one of the first, right? Yeah, I think because because we were uh, the rock station, um, we wanted to be a little different from everybody else. And I think so. Mike was punk rock about that, and they when I got Mike in, si Jet, yeah, si Jet Crane was the female uh, DJ on board. And then later on, Sili Lariano would also join her. So, Silandalawa. Um, and then 
Joey came in and they weren't real walang ano walang walang it wasn't discussed we were just you know me and si Kathy my fellow newscaster dalawa Roxy. kami morning siya yeah Roxy mm. morning siya evening ako siya yung gustong gusto talaga mag DJ hindi ako mag DJ if it weren't for her also so nagkataon nagkataon When I went in kasi, we would sign off on Sundays at midnight. Okay? That's when everybody, a lot of the radio stations did. And then you come back Monday morning. Si Mike was like, I think we we should start going uh, 24 hours na natuloy-tuloy. So sabi niya, so itong dalawa, pwede sila mag-salitan ano, sa weekends. So kami ni Kathy yun. <laughs> And it was free. So, pero the training, we got trained and then eventually we got absorbed. into the on-air staff as well. I mean, the announcing staff na. That's how it started. Pero siya may gusto talaga. Na-mention mo si Joey. Actually, fan ako sobra ng Zach and Joey in the morning. Yeah. In every morning, yun yung going to school. Yun yung ano ka talaga. Wala lang. So, so how was it being a musical director sa NU? How was your relationship like? Kasi ang dami rin mga personalities doon. Like, si the Francis Brew, tapos si Quark, I think uh, he mentioned sa podcast, he was always at the station din, si Diego. So, kamusta yung parang synergy, yung family nyo? Nawala si Rings, mabalik lang siya. It's like a, para kaming clubhouse eh. Parang clubhouse talaga. It was, it was a whole, it was a lot of fun. It was a, pag hindi ka makakauwi nga, you can sleep over at the station. It's, And and nasa you're right in the center of Makati, and then later on center of Ortigas, and everything was just fine. We just what 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 exactly were you asking about the? Parang how how were the relationships? I mean, how how was it working with Francis? Parang very particular din siya sa ano tas parang wala lang. <laughs> I think I think that I think the thing about Annie was magkaka. Parang kami banda, parang kami pamilya, parang clubhouse nga. Magkaka-vibes talaga lahat ng on-air staff. We were just... Uh, may meet, you have a staff meet once a week eh. So, that we have a Tuesday so at like 10 or 11. And then, and we'd, at that time, we'd just be brainstorming of what what stuff to do, what events to make for the... You needed yeah. events at the time because uh, the advertisers wanted to sponsor something. So you had to make up something for them na bagay. So that's how, why we came up with mga stuff like uh, the mall shows and the bar tours, the school the school events. Kaya kami nagkaganon. We'd, we'd all be in charge of thinking of what to do for that. So yun, kasama yun. And then we also have, syempre, uh, a lot of that would have bands in it because that's our We were really intent on support creating a scene and supporting it. And that was the rock scene here in, in Manila. So we really wanted to back a lot of the original music that was coming out that the bands were making. So yun yung priority naman. Yeah, that was a priority. Really honestly, making a scene. Honestly, being a listener, na feel ko yun sobra na parang to the point na every you know na everybody just na mention na rin ni Rims before na nagda-drop talaga ng mga demo tapes sa NU. Sa so parang na feel well me being that din sa band na medyo like wanting to be nung high school at college ganyan. Syempre parang feeling mo yung daan is NU talaga eh. And it really dami talagang ang dami talagang magagaling na band din na lumabas yon doon. So uh, I guess yung question ko rin is Like, and sino yung mga parang particularly memorable bands na dumaan sa'yo na bagong-bago pala, pa lang? I think na-mention rin ni Mike D is Urban Dub. Na parang gano'n, na parang, oh wow, ang gagaling ng mga to. Um, uh, siguro early, hindi pa ako MD, bagong ba, ni, mid-90s. Yung Eraserheads, si... Uh, our station manager was si Chris Hermosissima. And then, sino si ano, boss sa BMG, Reims? Uh, Vic? Rudy. Si Vic. Uh, no, Vic si Vic. Valenciano. 
Vic Valenciano is a ANR. What is he? Yeah, really? He's just the head of the he he's head a, ANR. Ito yun na, the head ANR of the record company came all the way to NU to let Chris listen to this new song that he wanted to release. And that was the first time I heard of the eraser heads. Mm. So, ang galing, ano yun? <laughs> Ligaya, di ba? Ah, wow. Naka-real pa siya nung dinala niya doon. So, we had to transfer <laughs> to a cart. <laughs> 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 we were we were waiting for that single to drop, but it took forever because they were waiting for a a Chinese date. Feng Shui. A, a, feng, a lucky yeah. date. Para, when are we gonna hear that album out? They didn't want to release the album until it was for every album of the heads. It was like that, but uh, sa ultra took the lo- seemed the longest because we didn't know. We were like, "Matagal lang tapos yung album eh." Pero no, we're waiting for this date. Why? We don't under we but we were kids. We didn't understand. So yeah, I guess it was lucky. Chinese <laughs> po yung Chinese no. po yung ano sa BMD. Oh, Check. oh, lahat yun. Chinese la. Oh, let's go, let's go. Hindi yun sa yun. Hindi yun sa yun. We got lucky. Pero <laughs> 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 magaling talaga. Magaling talaga. Maganda talaga. Maga walang walang katulad. Et walang katulad yung heads. And then they got you on a boat on all levels they would get you. They were smart. Ang pop nung kanta, medyo kanto yung kanta. 'Di ba? So lahat ng level kanya, lahat ng levels ma-appreciate mo siya. So ang laki talaga nung nung fan base nila nang nangyari doon. Tas I was I read the bio and I that's the first time na nakabasa ng ganun na bio. I think Ellie wrote it. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I think so. So they were different. They they were different. They were going to be... I didn't know if they were going to become huge or not. Because I never... Hindi ako ganun mag-isip eh. Because um, I never know what people are gonna... Like... And nobody does, actually. Uh, even hanggang ngayon eh. Diba? Who's, who knows what's gonna go viral? It just happens. Anyway, ganun ang music eh. So I was like, I didn't know if they were going to become big. It's not in my... Pati Enyo kasi we were like a fringe, we were really a fringe station. Malit yung market namin eh. Um, pero this band, that band was different. So Erase Your Heads. And then um, Sugar Free Din. Naalala ko when they came out, when that album came out. Um, yeah, Urban Dub. For sure. Uh, I think we were lucky because we had a uh, stay a uh, uh, and you in Cebu noon. and then one of our former jocks was was there and he he sent the cd over and he goes may din kailangan kailangan mong patugtugin to kailangan mong pakinggan to ang galing and that's the first time i heard of uh, soul searching so yun para nag-shift na rin yung nag-shift na rin ng genres nung yung time na yun mas halos kasabay noon um uh, uh New metal, ano yeah. na rin? on the on the on the rise na rin. So the the bands, um, huli ang slap shock actually, eh. dun sa batch na yun eh. Uh, you guys, you guys played, yung... I think Greyhounds first, right? Oh Greyhound. So yung intro palang nun eh, pag pasok ko sa CD sa so ko, wow, astig. <laughs> I've never, di ba? <laughs> I've never heard anything like it. I gotta play this. We gotta play this. Ang exciting pag nakahanap ka ng ganun eh. Kasi gusto mo lang talaga patugtugin ng patugtugin at parinig mo sa lahat ng kids eh. So sila, tas keso. And then, um, I don't know kung kailan ng Chico say dun sa ano na yun. Dun sa, after slap shock pa. After slap shock pa. Yeah, because they, yeah. they were young. Pretty young. Because Jameer got them then, y- Ay, okay. There you go. Slap shock yung... Pagdating ng slap shock yung CD... I don't have a CD case. Yung CD case pa nila may Yossi dun sa side. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Promo. Yeah. Oh, wow. Anyway, so that's yun. That, those were exciting times then. Ta- yeah, that's you about... A, that's, you, you had a radio show. Malapit na umalis nun eh after that. You had a radio, radio show. Not radio. 
so since Anu was fringe, why did you even have to put up a your own? What did what what were you thinking? Because there's fringer stuff. <laughs> <laughs> fringer <laughs> things. That should be your bad. <laughs> fringer <laughs> things. <laughs> no, because um, major divided. Uh, there's stuff on the air, so some that's 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 mainstream for us, diba? mga although it's not mainstream in the bigger thing uh, scheme of things, but they were like the major label stuff, mga kite nirvana, uh, parang on air na yun, regular rotation na yun is what we call. So that's nirvana, uh, you know, mga pearl jam, stone temple piles, kanyan. And then there's stuff that will be left out. From we we got a um, subscription of a weekly uh, CD from the states. There's my service na ganun eh. I don't know if they still have it for radio stations, but uh, all the new releases they would compile it from the labels. They compile it and then in two CDs, one would be pop and one would be more like album rock or hard rock or basta not pop. Anyway, so yon so. Eh, tatlo lang ipapasok mo every week eh, sa amin noon. So, the, the, there'll be stuff that, na hindi mapapatugtog. And I thought, alam mo kung walang XB nung, nung high school ako, because I don't have cousins, cousins in the States or, you know, older, I don't have cousins at all. If I hadn't had XB, I wouldn't have gotten into The Cure and U2, and I wouldn't be the same as I am now. And I would have missed a lot, I think. I would have, Sabi ko, nasad ako na na-realize ko yun. So sabi ko, I, 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 I wanna I put up a little show on air new naman para dun sa mga stuff na hindi naririnig. Kasi in case you somebody likes it, in case some it calls to you and it speaks to you, in case in case it's your BTS now, di ba? Yung, uh, pero hindi mo narinig kasi hindi siya, hindi siya pop Available. enough eh, or, main, um, or mainstream enough that people would put it on a regular basis. So, We'd, have you Chris? Can, can I get an hour every week to get um to put up a show to play stuff that's not on uh, rotation? He goes, sure, I'll give you Saturdays at nine o'clock because Saturday night is a like non prime time because mm, everyone's out. Uh, so hindi siya ano sa radio. It's like okay, cool. Yeah, so that's what we did not for not radio. I got to do an ad for it, and then I got to make. Stingers at the beginning, and then I would go around. Um, sa, like, I'd like to give a shout out to Eric Antonio. He passed away last year. He's a she yung engineer ko. He's a technician na hindi niya na shift yun eh sabado ng 9 p.m. pero babalik siya sa samahan niya ako. Siya rin yung ano ko. Siya rin ang siya rin ang Led Zepp, Metallica, Juan de la Cruz pimp ko. Siya hmm. nagturo sa akin lahat nun. Siya yung, nagdala, siya yung nagdadala pag kailangan ko ng CDs at saka, at saka um, records of those of that era naman. Siya yung heavy metal. Then you were heavy metal stuff. Siya yung nag, nagpakita sa akin yung mga Megadeth, Metallica. Siya, he passed away last year, sadly. And then that's how I tried to see, see Stephen Lou helped me also. Because I started, I was hanging around um, his studio a lot at the time. Loud house. And then he, yeah, and then he came back from the stage. He made the little nine inch nails na CD. What? That's, it's his, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stephen. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he, he came back and brought, before he left for the Philippines to come back, he duman muna siya ng tower, siguro. Sorry, bought a, a lot of new CDs. And I was like, uy, may nine inch nails na bago. Uh, yay. Um, Ano na yun? Pretty Hate? Ano yun ba yun? Kasi it wasn't... No, it wasn't... The... Pretty Hate. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Ah, hindi. Hindi. Hindi Fragile. na Pretty Hate. Um, or Spiral or Fragile? Or with Teeth? One of those. Oh, kasi bago ako sa Enyo nung lumabas yung Pretty Hate. Eh. So... Ikinayin yata yung so, Pretty Hate. Yan. Yan, Downward yan. Spiral. Sakto. 93. Or so, 94 yeah. ang Downward Spiral. That's probably it. Kasi 94, 95. Closer na. Closer. Eh. Like closer. Oo. So yan. Oh, siya nagpahal. As in, nina ako noon. And all he, he told me, he was like, you got the most important thing is to always have fun. Tapos hanggang ngayon, 
yun yun iniisip ko pag ano pag nilinervous ako tapos magagawin ako <laughs> just try to have fun yun din kasi yun sinabi sa akin ni Remember Rames nung sumali tayo ng band contest? We, we joined the band contest, ang sandwich. Everybody joined it. Because we, the prize was a... a London calling. A, a set, yeah, as a set in a, one of the, an, in a big gig in London. And we just... Huh? Ha? And this, no, sorry, al, ano lang, for the, for the sponsor, I forget who it was. And then, so sumali kami. Tapos we ended up in the grand finals against the... Uh, Juan Miguel, Salvador. And then, pero sobrang nervous ko na I don't do well with contests at all. Sobrang nini-nervous ako. I, I wandered into the 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 dressing room of uh, Cynthia Alexander kasi sila guest band sila. Siguro nakita niya na mumutla na ako or something kasi sabi niya, Mayreen, enjoyin mo lang, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, ngayon naalala ko yung the long advice na yun. So anyway, so not radio. That's I met Jago because I ordered a bunch of CDs sa states. Pero hindi ko siya na duma, hindi siya hindi ko siya nakuha obviously. Kasi wala na naman registered mail dito tapos hindi ko siya pina door to door. Sign in cash. And then so, sabi niya narinig ni Jago na nagko-complain ako sa radio. So he came over, introduced himself and lent me some of his his stuff. So naging partner ko siya din sa Night Radio kasama din kasama na rin namin siya. And that's how I ended up in Agamulak experience with him. How did you guys meet uh Toti and Richard Tan? Si Richard Tan is the first one I met before any of all of you. <laughs> Kasi um when I when we were in college, one of my well, we got to get friends, intro for Richard Tan. The Richard Tan okay. eventually managed the careers of parokya and uh queso queso kamikaze typecast uh, chipsa yata diba mm, i don't remember him mm, parang hindi parang, okay. parang hindi but he was one of the great managers he wrote uh, for uh what magazine rock rock and rhythm okay, robert yeah rock and rhythm Uh-oh. he yeah anyway go but, and meet him. also ito yon richard had a, richard had a label before anything else before oh, yeah, yeah, before yeah. parokya yeah. The youth. Backbeat. Back oh, beat. the youth. Yeah, he was. Yeah, no, House of Beth. House of Beth, yung una ko narinig sa, when they played it on XB and maybe also NU eh, at the time. Pero House of Beth, ang ganda, radical. Favorite ko talaga. So, okay, I like that song. I was in college. Patricia, my high school friend, who is a doctor. <laughs> who's, a, who's a doctor now? She was in med school. Ah, no, she was still in, dahil college kami, nasa pre-med pa siya, di ba? For some reason, decided to intern at Jingle Magazine sa Cubao. So, parang ano din, pa, what I got, parang NU din yung mga kids, yung mga, mga nagtatrabaho sa Jingle Magazine. Barkada din sila, music yung main thing nila. So, si Pat was like, may rin ko baka gusto mo sa mama sa Jingle. And I'm like, Jingle Magazine? Yeah, why not? Of course, di ba? I'm a big fan. It's what we had, I mean, we all had growing up. That's how we learned uh chords and stuff and we would read um how many flies or angels uh, your favorite <laughs> album got tas babasahin mo yung doon yung ano doon yung initial na trolls you see yung mga nag-aaway sa feedback section <laughs> kakatawa ang saya anyway so sabi kasi kasama ako diyan that's how I ended up at Jingle Magazine met sina James Aspa sina Romy Buen si Magyar met all of them and then did, one did day, Richard write for Jingle no, one day no, this no. guy came around. One day this guy came around with CDs. And he said, I'm Mitchell Tan. Tapos pinakita niya yung mga CDs niya. That's stuff he was making. The youth nga. That's House, House of Beth. House of Beth. And so I met him. And I was, he, was, he was nice. He was such a big music fan. But he was also laid back and quiet. You know how Richard was. So siya yung unang-unang kakilala ko before every, anybody else. So, uh, what about to- wait, Toti, si Toti naman. How'd you ah, guys sorry. Toti? Si Toti came Toti of uh came who manages what's his UDD. Terno. UDD. UDD. Terno, Terno Records. Terno and yeah, UDD. Terno down saying she manager. He okay. also he also started Mix. Mm. Oh. 
He was a for, first program director of Mix when um, they they opened up a, a video channel, ang ABS. So, si Toti ang kinuha nila. So, that, that was pretty cool. He was the first um, drummer Totti of Adam Mulak the... experience. Yeah, because, yeah, because we used to just hang around together. I mean, Nina Jago and him. Uh, he, he'd come home from the States. I think somebody told him about... Uh, he, Toti has like the biggest record collection... Of anyone I know, and probably uh, around the world, talaga big music fan, big, uh, and also coming from yung era na may mga rave, yun yung time na yun eh. That's why he he made his own here. Eh. He started having parties also when he the got group his nation, the group when he got, nation raves. Yeah, oh, oh, when he got settled, he he started all that whole. He had a record. Um, he had a record store. He had, he produced uh, the raves. Uh, mga those parties and also and then he came to NU he said he asked Chris if he could have a show also and then he asked me to be his co-host kasi wala naman siya alam dun sa board oh, and stuff so eh. the group so, nation pero, sessions co-host ka he, yeah well was I but I had to be there so I had to play the stuff he didn't really talk a lot because he was just playing a lot of dance music diba? and it was like nine minutes yeah. long so I never <laughs> no no hindi naman palaging dance eh. halo halo rin eh. pero nung ko na unang narinig yung mga remix na yung hindi lang hindi lang chin up shop tapos linagin ng as in completely changed the underlying the the groove or the key even all the chords under basta iniba talaga yung Sobra akong mangha eh. Nung narinig ko yung pinatugtog niya yung uh... Who's that? Girl, yung kumakanta. Bjork? Portishead. 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 Portishead, yung Portishead remix. Ako talagang nakaka, nakaka mangha talaga. For me at the time. Because I didn't know that, oh, you can do that. <laughs> this is also, it's really the point of playing all this new music. Because it's... He, it is what you can do. You can this aside from all the other stuff. Pwede rin to, baka ito yung gusto mo, hindi 'yon, 'di ba? Kasi minsan marakarin ka na, ayoko naman ng mga 'yan eh. What's baka wala for me, 'di ba? Pero meron, meron 'yan. Just got to look. So, why did you leave NU and uh, what do you think about yung radio today? Um, I left NU because Atari was starting to um grow up na siguro mga 3 or 4 na siya so i wanted to spend more time with her and also um oh that's mostly it cuz i didn't know what whether sandwich was going to pick up or not eh no yeah we all i think it was i think we all left our day jobs around the same time mm-hmm. we all had a big realization yeah, but parang parang si Diego left BMG si Mike left i think it was Viva I left uh, Liquid Post. We we all had day jobs at that point. The heads were were as as banded already, but we all decided, well, let's put all our energy to sandwich and do it do it ourselves. <laughs> it was yeah. It was also about that time that we lost a a record contract. Yes. Nag-indi na kami. Nag-indi BMG, na kami na eh. BMG dropped us, so it's like we gotta work on our stuff instead of working elsewhere. Yun yung Thanks to the Moon yung album na yun. So, di, nagre-record pa ba tayo for that or did you all record it at the house? That was recorded in the little apartment. Yeah. yeah. And then, and then we got a new manager and si Darwin sabi, so, are you going to throw your lot in with us because we're going to have to sell this record ourselves? It is, it was a, uh, medyo unheard of nun eh. We, Kukunin namin yung si Mike yung makipag-usap sa CD makers sa mga monumento. And then kami ni Raymond would pick up the the boxes of the CD. Luckily, si Darwin um, fixed the distribution deal with EMI. EMI. Octo Arts yun at the time. Tapos naging EMI. Because you couldn't sell your Ah, you couldn't sell your CDs at the stores because you needed a a spot and your own sales lady. Diba? Parang may, may sa mga depart- may dicer. Parang promodizer. Parang ganun. Uh-oh. Promodizer? Wala, hindi, what, <laughs> Can that be my <laughs> new band's <laughs> name? 
Di ba? Parang, parang like, like the parang department stores, you hire, you hire your own. Yeah. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> Wait, how'd you end up in the So, Imago? dadali namin dun. Oh, they had a they had a, they had a bass why, player. Ano? Yeah, they had a bass player, but they were they, his playing style was so different. How'd you end up in Imago? See, a what's his name? My, uh, 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 Arvin, Alvin. Ar- Arvin, Arvin, yeah, Arv. Yeah. What happened to your life? Hang on. My computer just went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Ayun. Anyway, uh, si Ar- um, he, he left and then si- I'm, I was working with Zach. So, barkada ko siya. A lot of my, a lot of my gigs, I, I get through people I know, I think, who want to work with me then. So, and then I asked you, pa, should, I, should I take this? Because I didn't really, I couldn't play the carve. Yeah, like a six string like or a five string. It was. Yeah, and, and uh, his band after was Yung next banya prog. Yeah. It was <laughs> it was technical. It was very technical. Yeah, he's very uh yung chops niya iba, right? So I'm like, really? Why but we got along. We got all got along and I started playing for them and yun. What which bands did you you played with other bands also, like session for other bands? I sessioned uh ones for um should I, I sessioned often for Tribal Fish. My first uh, gig at Araneta, I sessioned for uh, Razorback. Mm. Wow. So those are the... Wait, wait. Let's go back to radio. Uh, Dari and I were talking earlier. Para you interviewed... A oh, lot, actually. a lot of our heroes. <laughs> Can you mention some of the memorable interviews? Like, I know you probably spoke to to Dave Grohl or to Billy Corgan. Who else did you talk to? No, Dave Grohl. We when they came to play here, you guys opened for them. Uh, yeah, 90, alternative. 90, 96, 97. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's Nancy. Sina, Nancy, my. My high school friend was also in BMG. So, me and Jago scored an interview with Dave Grohl. Ano siya? Parang pag upo mo dun, kwentuhan na agad kayo. Sarap ka usap. As in, he was in the station? No, we went call? to, ano? Ah, to no, the hotel? Sa, ano? No, uh, ano na yata? Backstage. Backstage. Okay, okay. Oo. Um, earlier in the day pa eh. So wala pang wala pang tao masyado dun sa sa dining hall, you know mm-hmm. the big one. The my, my pool. Where you look outside. Oh, oh, my pool. Apparently for the Miss Universe contestants back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so that we talked to him there. There's a picture Jago took it. Um we we stalked the Beastie Boys sa ano, pero walang interview yon. Walang interview ang uh, Beastie Boys at saka Sonic Youth. Although we got to stalk them nga kasi Nancy would you know, ask us over. They played bowling after the gig pa. Nag-bowling pa sila sa Robinsons. Uh, after. Pero in, never namin nakausap. Hindi pwede lapitan. Pero Dave Roll was was really good to talk to. He was fun. And I think you can find the interview on um, YouTube. Somebody posted a, uh, a recorded version. Kasi hindi ko na alam ko saan yung mga masters niya. Eh. Billy Corrigan was... <laughs> I got... I talked to him for eight seconds. <laughs> Kasi, uh, so the record company would come to you and say, like, You want to talk to Billy Corrigan? I'm like, Oh, whoa, oh, sige, yeah, sure, why not? Diba? Eh, kamamatay pa lang nung keyboardist niya. Tam- keyboard, right? Yes, yes. The From a drug overdose. Is. Yeah. The Ana, brother of uh, I, brother of Friends of P. Uh-oh. Yeah. Pearson? No. No, no, no. Oh, wait, Friends wait, wait, of wait. P. Hindi si... Hindi si... Hindi B-52s. Mga bata. Not B-52s. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, so I called up the number. I called up the number. That was Shane Sumagot. And then he asked me if I'd heard the album. Which was? What eh, album? wala pa. Melancholy? Baka. <laughs> Basta that, that album when after the guy died. I don't remember the album right now because I hadn't heard it at that time. So I said, I was honest. I just said, Oh no, not yet, right? And he goes, 
Oh, no, I can't do this interview because you're just gonna ask me about drugs and stuff. Sabi niya ganyan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was so nervous. Hindi na ako maka... Hindi na ako makahirit. So that's my eight-second interview with... The, um, with... <laughs> Billy Corgan. <laughs> Smashing pumpkins guy. <laughs> Billy Corgan. Sino pa yung ano? Sino yung mga... Sino pang mga favorite na na interview aside from them? So, favorite talaga si Dave Grohl, I think. Siya yung, siya yung pinakamasaya. At saka yun, nasa, tabi, nasa harap ko lang talaga siya. Eh. Everything else was... A, they call it a phoner. Kasi tatawagan niyo siyang ganyan. I got to talk to... Uh, at saka, because we were a small market, kasi Manila tayo, we usually wouldn't get the the main guy. So, <laughs> uh, uh, si Tico Torres, I talked to him. Bon Jovi drummer. Ah, drum- <laughs> <laughs> hindi. No, no. Not Tico pala. Um, wait. Why do no, I no, know no. his name? Ang Bon Jovi. Ito, ito, ito. Ang Bon Jovi. Ang Bon Jovi ganito. They split him up into two. Yung apat sila na for that interview eh. Basta, ang nakuha kay um ano nakuha kay John and another member LS uh-huh. in a different room at the hotel. Uh, ang nakuha namin si uh, si Richie, ah, Zambora. Zambora. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. guitar player. And and maybe the drummer or bass player. So they they split them up that way because we were the, but when I think about it, we were the rock station we should have gotten done Bon Jovi. Anyway. <laughs> Um, so that was fun. Um, uh, we got to talk to <laughs> who's the bald guy from uh, Bush? No, I don't lead singer. Talaga. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that show though. Yeah, I was, ba- yeah. I was yeah, babysitting uh, Gret. Ni libre ni Nini. To babysit Gret. Yun. And I was like impressed with their live show. I never liked them, but but they're pretty tight live in Araneta, di ba? Nahulog si ano, di ba? He fell off some ramp also. I, I don't remember. Si... It's like this, this yung rhythm ex-Gwen. section. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and he was, at saka ang taray noon, nung guy, yung gitarista na yun. <laughs> um, I think we talked to Sixpence. Mm. Six Pence and the Richard was fun because kasama nila yung drummer ni Alanis na so, super not Taylor, Taylor Hawkins? No, 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 no. You're not no, talking about no, no, Six no. Pence. This is Frente. Ah, Frente, oh. Kasama yung drummer ni Alanis. No, not gu- the guitar player. Guitar of player Of the Chili ba? Peppers. Yeah, of the Chili Peppers. Boyfriend niya. No, yeah. hindi Chili Lante. Peppers. Yes! Hindi, hindi. Hindi si Kat. Hindi, hindi drummer ng someone Alanis no, ata No 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 it was it was Sai kita ko pa sila eh they were andiyan sa harap ko yung yung singer tapos siya nakaganon sa nakaganon yung sa tabi That's like, the guitar what? player oh, that? that's the boyfriend They're from BMG Yung Pero hindi siya a chili pepper hindi... Asikling Hofer No 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 before pa like right after Frusciante he became a chili pepper Dave Navarro No 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 before No <laughs> Mas wala kasi sa ano eh. Mas mas big si Dave Navarro kaysa sa Frente. But Jego can, I think Jego can answer this question. Para, that guy looks familiar. Yes, he became a chill. Oh, no, parang, why is he so weird? Who is he? What's he doing inside? Tapos kakaganun lang siya dun sa girl. Sa booth. Sa booth. <laughs> sa yeah, boy, sa he booth. was touring with a, with a girlfriend. Yeah. Girlfriend is singer ng Frente. Yeah. Who else did I, who else have I talked to? Do you remember some anyone? Did you talk na, to Silverchair? No. Silverchair, yeah, over the oh, phone. Wow. Yeah. Uh, si Moni ng yeah, Sony din ata, yung nag, nag, ano nun, nag ayos nun. I talked to someone from a lot of the a lot of the album rock bands at the time. Mga What about the the newer stuff in the I mean the the new metal guys? Did you talk to anybody like Deftones or Corn? Shredders. Hindi. I don't know why. Parang walang wala masyadong phoners nung time na yun. I don't 
I don't remember much. Na I mean, in the way of interviews with the foreign bands, parang wala masyado. At that time. No time na yun. Wait, wait. Before before we let you go, is there anything that Imago is doing? At the, I know Sandwich is not as is, is is quiet. What is Imago up to recent as of late? Uh, late last year, late last year, Imago were lucky enough to get into the studio to record a couple of songs over at uh, Kodama. So, uh, so right now we're promoting uh, the latest single, Sigurado. So that's that's what uh, we've been doing. And in fact, on Sunday, I don't know when when is this going to air. Ah, uh, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> Sunday, 5 p.m. <laughs> okay. Sunday morning, Sunday morning, we have a, a Zoom uh, interview with uh, a bunch of people from the States. So uh, all the info is in my Instagram. So they'll be drinking and we'll be having coffee with them. 10.30 in the morning dito. Pero sila, NY, sa New York eh. So that should be fun. That's what we're doing on Sunday, Imago. So sigurado yung bago namin single, yung pinupromote namin. Also, tell us about that base behind you. I just remembered. The oh, D&D. Which one? The, uh, the base. Oh, they're both bases. The, yeah. That's the duende. You're holding the duende. Okay. Here. I hate acoustic bases. Hate. Hate, okay. Except for this one. It's, it's so easy to play. It sounds great. I can plug it in. I can plug it in. I, Talagang ano, parang before before that before this before this before in duende sinusumpa ko talaga yung acoustic bass. Sorry. <laughs> parang yeah. pointless sa akin eh. Pointless sa akin eh. Didn't make it didn't wala talaga it wouldn't make any sound all, all you hear was this. Mm-hmm. Pero, pero this one so if you're going to get an acoustic bass duende. Okay, tell about Super recommend tell, it talaga. I love tell it. Tell us about <laughs> the procrastinator. How you how you help design it? And what will there is there going to be changes that you want to do with it so, in the so next? Is it? Yeah. I think. Uh, okay, that's those are my daughter's drawings. See, um, this is John of Elegy helped me make uh, um, my custom procrastinator. So he helped out with the uh, making of that, and then thanks Darren for putting it out. It's. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I never I never really thought I'm not a gear person first of all uh, I have to I, you have to know that hindi ako masyadong mag gear once I find something that I like I'll stick to that forever so uh, we I looked at my Yamaha um, when making this because I wanted it to be uh, easy to carry for someone of my size I guess because that's and that's, that's also what I learned to play and I can make it sound uh, the way I want. So, yun yung, yun yung, I want it to sound like that. But I also want it to sound a, a little, a little, I uh, look a little um, different. So, kaya mas malapit yung itsura niya dito. Oh, it's a T-bird. A Thunderbird. Yeah. <laughs> kaya ganun din siya, medyo offset ng konti. So, so it's a cross between your Yamaha RB. Is it an RBX? Uh, I it wants to be an RBX, but it's just one of the I know the, one of the economy models na um, came out. It's a cross the between time. the Yamaha and the T-Bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, next time, siguro um, a little, maybe a little smaller pa when yeah. I when I have a kailangan na natin when we make yung, a new one. Yeah, kailangan na natin gawin yung second second version ng lahat ng sandwich guitars. <laughs> yeah. I think I th- wait, also wait. because because we made that, I think I know I have a more firm grip of what I, mean, I want. Mas mas sigurado na ako sa gusto ko din. Although I I still recommend I play that all the time in the, in all most of my gigs now. There are two kinds of uh, pickups usually uh generally uh, active and passive. Why do you why do you like passive on your basses? Hang on. Um uh, kasi sumasakit lang yung kamay ko sa active because the dynamics aren't it's so constant 
yung gain niya and then the sound it produces it just it's just within this range talaga it's so constant now i can't get any difference if i want to pump it harder it's still the same if i want to do it softer it's still the same so uh, i i realized na sumasakit lang yung kamay ko and i couldn't uh, i didn't really want it made no difference to me what i did on it when i played it so which is what i think other people like in it kasi nga yung, hindi masyado nagbo-vary yung uh, oo nandun lang siya it's compressed, Hin- hinahanap yeah. Mo, yeah i mean people some other players look for that for certain things also so for me personally no tapos no. for for years you've been using a uh, sans only a sans amp right a bass di uh-huh. a sans amp and then suddenly a few years ago you just made a switch to an Aguilar. Aguilar. Do you have it there? Yes. Do you have it nearby? Have Aguilar, actually. Do you have it nearby? Oh, it's it's downstairs. You want me to okay. get it? No, no, no. Why? I I never I never asked you why why did you make the shift? Okay. Uh we play a lot sa sa 19 East, right? And they have they have like state of the art equipment over there because uh the, the owners are Wowie. live music yeah see wow is a live music fan a lot of the uh, uh professional people who play there really their standards are no but i've never found uh, any of the base you know what i hate <laughs> should i mention it baka hindi nila sponsor pero okay lang kasi hindi ko siya mapatunog talaga <laughs> yung mga ampeg na base mm. amps Based uh, amps. Uh, the amps. Yeah, yeah so the amps. It's the best, the ba? Parang ganyan. <laughs> I thought, yeah. Everyone, like, everyone, everyone I'm reading, it's like Ampeg, Ampeg. So whenever oh. I come, tapos, pag, wala eh. Hindi kami magkasundo talaga eh. Hindi <laughs> kami magkasundo. Ang favorite ko before Aguilar was a, a PV, a PV base. Just base give amp. me a PV base, base amp. Oh, uh, papatunogin ko yun. Ka, kayang kaya ko siya tapos i just take me give me the flatten it out give me a nice the gain and then the master out and mic mic is part of my sound by the way mic okay dizon okay so, mic dizon yeah mic dizon mic dizon and and then uh, no okay you still haven't answered why you switched to aguilar so yun nga so yun ang daming ang dami ko rin dinaanan na apps dun sa 19 east and one day they had a an aguilar Dun sa ano, and f- I just fell in a love with it. A preamp or a yeah. bass amp? The bass amp itself. Okay. Uh, ano eh, bass amp siya, pero may head na separate. Okay. Hindi, siya, hindi siya buong thing. Um, so, initially, I was going to buy uh, the head, a head. And then I looked into the site, and then I saw that they had the, the, the preamp, which is only this small. Mm-hmm. So that's the only that's the only uh, gadget that you bring. Before that, I realized na parang hit or miss talaga yung sound core. Parang ah, bahala na mamaya pagdating ko dun sa ano. And nowadays with that preamp, think I will play anywhere. Okay. <laughs> In a, in a in on the street in the province who's, with a karaoke who's, with a karaoke. Who's carrying that, uh, Aguilar? Da, da rin ikaw ba? Ah, hindi, hindi. Um, hindi. It's JV. You bought JV. it from somewhere else. <laughs> oh. ah, anyway, basta I think ang Aguilar medyo new player sila eh. Kasi nung nagnama ko like uh, six years ago, parang bago pa lang. Uh, okay. Wala kasi ng distributor, tapos nag-iingay pa lang sila. Yun, galing. Ang galing nila. Well, simple lang siya. Ako talaga, I'll just fiddle with the gain and the master out, I'll flatten everything. If I want a little fuzz on it, I'll just hit the, turn the blue light on. I don't, I can't even explain it to you kung anong parts yan. Pero yun okay. na talaga yung lalaruin ko eh. Before, before we let you go, ito na, final, final. Meron ka pa ba, Darren? Do you have a uh, last question? Ano, depende. Let's see kung, depende sa question mo. Kung pasok na rin, hindi okay na Hindi, ikaw, yung sa'yo na lang. Yung sa'yo muna. Yung Then, akin, last, oh, last. Oh, sige. Sa akin lang, uh, last question. Kasi I know like this is a male dominated industry. Ano yung tips mo for the for the girls out there na you know they want to join bands, they want to be in music, pero medyo syempre may apprehension kasi parang puro lalaki dito. What what can you what advice can you give them? Uh, 
uh, when you form a band, kasi, I think it's important that you really find people that you enjoy being with because that's uh, that's how all my bands are. So so Sandwich and Imago are, are family to me. So pag ganun na yung, pag nahanap mo na yung mga tao na yun, hindi mo naiisipin masyado kung if you're a girl or boy or they're all boys or whatever, you know, that sort of thing kind of didn't come into play. I never really think about it. I just think na no, do what just do what you want and be uh, try to enjoy try to enjoy it. Try to look for your your tribe siguro. And uh things kind of fall into place when ano eh, when you when you follow through with that just follow your gut and then <clears throat> ah, sabi nga nila love yourself talaga eh. <laughs> or appreciate yourself and then if you think you're weird everybody else is weird don't worry about that don't don't that sh- shouldn't be something um you worry about or what other people will eventually say siguro importante yung sabi ng friends mo okay okay lang yon pero yung in general, in public or out there. That's not so important anymore. Just because when you're happy with what's here right now, you can do anything, I think. Eh. Wala. Dadali mo na yan everywhere else. So, and then, you know, practice. Practice a lot. It helps. <laughs> when the nung find your tribe, when the nung man. Parang galagay niya sa t-shirt niya ng Daily Grind, ano? Find your tribe. <laughs> Wait, ito yung last ko. Tell us why we all call you MAPS. <laughs> oh, okay. Maganda I don't know if you end. guys, rem- you might be a little young eh. Kasi when I started writing uh, copy for commercials sa ad farm, uh, one of the clients was Landmark. Bago lang yung Landmark. Tapos one of the characters was parang kolehyala. Tapos yung linya niya was like, Hi, nako, Maps. Uh, I don't know. Da, 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 da. Hi, hi, nako, Muffin. Muffin. Hi, nako, Muffin. Muffin. Muffin yung pangalan ng kinakausap niya na friend niya. Okay? <laughs> hi, nako, Muffin. So, and then, I went tamang-tama right after I left Ad Farm nga. I don't know. I was still at Ad Farm when I met the, the guys at NU. Kasi, because uh, Jerry Magnayo's radio, so medyo small naman yung circles. Eh. So I met the guys at NU, and since Tom Lupton would would find out na I wrote Major it, go, oh, you wrote that, yeah. <laughs> oh, you wrote that, so cute, Muffin. So muff, naging nickname ko, Muffin. <laughs> Tapos naging, naging Muffins, kasi Pinoy. Tapos ang short, naging ma- from Muffin to Muffins, which is my IG name. To maps, which is the short version. So it's it's from commercials and Tom Lupton. <laughs> okay. And with that, thank you for guesting. Completo na yung so sandwich circle. <laughs> thank, thanks a lot for having me, guys. I hope everybody takes care. Darren and Reims and everybody watching. Thanks a lot for joining us today. Please take care so that we can see you at the gigs when it's time. Bye-bye.